Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video I am going to explain you different addressing modes which are used by a microprocessor. So guys, this video I made in context of 8085 Intel processor. Okay, but the addressing modes are more or less similar for all the other types of processors. So guys, for the full video, all of you stay tuned. Karen Jeffrey Live. So guys, when it comes to addressing modes, okay, Intel 8085, it has six types of addressing. In immediate addressing, then we have register addressing, direct in addressing, indirect addressing, displacement addressing, and in the end we have stack addressing. So guys, now we will discuss the, all these types of addressings one by one. So guys, the first type of addressing is called as immediate addressing. So what happens in immediate addressing, your data or your operand value is written in the instruction. Your data is written in the instruction. For example, we have move immediate MVI. So B comma 20. Okay, so here I'll put H. So just to tell it is hexadecimal system which it is using. So what this says, okay, whatever the data is here, in the instruction move it to cpu register b so your data is in the instruction so what do we call it we call it as immediate addressing we call it as immediate addressing so guys the next thing which comes is called as register is called as register addressing okay so what is register addressing your data a is in cpu registers your data is in CPU registers. For example, move C comma B. So we have a CPU register B and some data is in that CPU register. Move the contents of CPU register B to CPU register C. So whatever data is in this B register, move it to C register. So in register addressing modes, your CPU registers are involved. Your CPU registers are involved. So we call it as register addressing. So guys, then the third type of addressing which comes is called as direct addressing. So in this direct addressing, we directly refer to the memory address where your data or your operand value is stored. For example, this is your memory. Okay. These are the memory locations and these are the addresses okay so what is direct addressing directly i will use the memory address in my instruction i will use the memory address in my instruction for example add for example 1030 means suppose here data is 20 so whatever data is stored in this memory location add that data to accumulator add that data to accumulator so all of you know accumulator again is a special purpose cpu register so go to memory location 10, 10 0, 3, 0. so whatever data is there add it to the contents of accumulator so directly we are referring to the memory addresses okay or we can also give name to these memory addresses for example i call it as alpha a l p h a i call it as alpha so i can write it like this also add alpha okay so whatever the contents which are in this name of memory location 1020 that is 20 added to accumulator added to accumulator so what do we call it we call it as direct addressing we call it as direct addressing and guys the next type of addressing which comes is called as indirect addressing is called as indirect addressing and it is number four so guys indirect addressing it uses pointers it uses pointer what is a pointer pointer is a variable in the memory which can store the address of another variable pointer is a variable in the memory which can store address of another variable so we do not address the operand directly rather we address it using some memory location then from that memory location we can get the memory location of the operand or your data for example add 
0.1020. Okay, now how it works? So this is my memory, and suppose this is my memory location 1020. This is 1010. This is 100. So this is 990, and so on. Add 1020. Two zero. Go to memory location one zero two zero. Okay, and at one zero two zero, we have address of my actual data. Suppose my actual data is twenty, and the address of that is nine ninety. So go to memory location one zero two zero. Get the address of the data that is nine ninety, and then get the data from that location, and then get the data from the that location and add it to the contents of a comma. later so this plus the contents of a comma later so what do we call it indirect addressing so in a my instruction i have a memory location and that memory location will point to some another memory location which will store the data which will store the data in high level languages like c we call it as pointer addressing okay and in assembly language we call it as indirect addressing we call it as indirect addressing okay so guys the next type of addressing which comes is called as displacement addressing is called as displacement addressing okay displacement addressing so guys in displacement addressing so we calculate the address we calculate the address using some base value and some displacement value using some base value and some displacement value okay the address which we calculate we call it as effective address okay so it has some base address plus some displacement value plus some displacement value always we will have a base address to add that we will add some displacement value and we will get the actual address and guys the displacement addressing is also of different types so there are three main types of displacement addressing so guys in displacement addressing we have three types of addressing relative addressing base register addressing and indexed addressing as i told you in displacement addressing we have to calculate the effective address from where we can get our operand from where we can get our operand now how we calculate the address effective address you know there is a base value okay how do we calculate the effective address you know there is a base value and to it we add the displacement value to get the address of our data to get the address of our data now all this these addressing okay they differ from each other depending upon where we keep the base address and where we keep the displacement value okay so now we will discuss them all one by one the first addressing is called as relative addressing okay the first addressing is called as relative addressing so in relative addressing for example we have add at the rate of 10 means this is my displacement value this is my displacement value and my base address is stored in pc program counter for example 1030 so for example 1030 program counter is storing storing my base address and my instruction is storing the displacement value then i calculate the effective address that is 1030 plus 10 so what is that that is 1040 so my data is in memory location 1040 suppose this is my data so take 20 from there and add it to a comma later suppose in a comma later my data is 10 okay so how do i calculated the address of my operand 20 by using program counter the contents of program counter to that i added a displacement value i got the actual address i fetched that data 20 and i added to the accumulator so after adding what accumulator becomes it becomes 30 so that is called as relative addressing okay where your base address is stored in program counter and the displacement value is stored in the instruction 
सो गाइज द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ एड्रेसिंग इज कॉल्ड एज बेस रजिस्टर एड्रेसिंग बेस रजिस्टर एड्रेसिंग सो वट इज बेस एड्रेस रजिस्टर एड्रेसिंग इन बेस रजिस्टर एड्रेसिंग दे से योर बेस एड्रेस इज इन सम सी पी यू रजिस्टर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव रजिस्टर आर थ्री इट हैज द बेस एड्रेस इट हैज द बेस एड्रेस सपोज अगेन माई बेस एड्रेस इज वन जीरो थ्री जीरो एंड द डिस्प्लेसमेंट वैल्यू इज इन द इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगेन एड आर थ्री एट द रेट ऑफ टेन सो वट एवर द डेटा और वट एवर द वैल्यू इज इन आर थ्री एड इट टू द डिस्प्लेसमेंट वैल्यू इन द इंस्ट्रक्शन सो वट विल बी माई इफेक्टिव एड्रेस वन जीरो थ्री जीरो प्लस टेन सो वट इज माई एक्चुअल एड्रेस वन जीरो फोर जीरो दैट इज दिस सो अगेन माई डेटा इज स्टोर्ड इन वन जीरो फोर जीरो फैक्स द डेटा एड इट टू द कंटेंट्स ऑफ अकमुलेटर सपोज अगेन अकमुलेटर इज टेन सो आई एड ट्वेंटी टू अकमुलेटर इट बिकम्स थर्टी सो बेस रजिस्टर एड्रेसिंग इज सिमिलर टू योर रेलेटिव एड्रेसिंग बट द ओनली डिफरेंस इज देयर द बेस एड्रेस इज स्टोर्ड इन प्रोग्राम काउंटर एंड हेयर इट इज स्टोर्ड इन सम अदर सीपीयू रजिस्टर दैट इज इन दिस केस आर थ्री दिस इज माई बेस एड्रेस दिस इज माई डिस्प्लेसमेंट वैल्यू and guys the last type of addressing which comes the last type of addressing which comes is indexed addressing is called as indexed addressing indexed addressing is opposite to base register addressing why i say base, opposite to base ad, register addressing because in indexed addressing my base address is stored in the instruction and the displacement value is stored in some cpu register now this is r3 so the displacement value is in cpu register and the base address is in the instruction so then what is my effective address 1030 plus the displacement value 10 that is 1040 so again i fetch this data and i add it to the contents of a cumulator suppose a cumulator is 10 so after adding it becomes 30 how do i calculate the address the base address is in in the instruction and i fetch the displacement value from some cpu register i add them i get this actual address of my data which i then add to the accumulator so what is this thing called as it is called as indexed addressing so guys i hope this is clear to you so guys the last type of addressing is called as stack addressing so in displacement addressing we studied how we can get the address of the operand okay how we can calculate the address of your data which you want to use so here now in stack addressing what we have is they say your data or your operands they are stored in top of the stack suppose this is my stack and this is the top of the stack this is the top of the stack so whatever the data which we need we will take from the top of the stack we will perform the operation and then again we will push the result back on the stack so in stack addressing suppose i have this add so what it indicates it says pop the element from the top of stack so this is the top of stack what you pop is 10 so what is the result of pop operation 10 so then after 10 is out what is the new top new top is this then again pop that element also from the top 20 okay so now nothing here this is my top this is my top so then what i do is perform this operation on these two operands 10 plus 20 what we get is 30 again push it back to stack so push 30 to the top of the stack so reverse polish notation it uses stack addressing it uses stack addressing in this your data is always on the top of the stack whatever operation you want to do on the data you pop the top two elements you perform that operation on them and then push back the result to the stack so guys that thing is called as stack addressing 
सो गाइज आई होप एवरी थिंग इज क्लियर टू यू सो गाइज इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियोज प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल आई बी अपलोडिंग मोर वीडियो टूटोरियल ऑन डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ आई टी ओके सो ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड स्टेटिंग